I thought why was Nick holding the flowers, but come, let me help you with that. <laughs> are you going to fling it later for someone to catch or something? Yeah? No? You are? You are? Okay. I'll just leave it here first, right? I'm going to help. Thank you. <coughs> what you are about to do is uh, exchange vows. And for all of you here, I get the, marriage, the married couple to, or the couple that's about to be married to, memorize their vows. Uh, we don't just repeat it for them to say after because it becomes meaningless. But this is really from the hearts, saying to each other, and uh, this is the essence of a wedding, to becoming one. Yeah. And so, Nick, you will begin round one. Nick. I, Nick Tan, take you, Michelle Wan, as my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, a richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. This is my solemn vow. Wonderful. Um, but actually, you can hold hands. You're about to get married, right? so it's okay to hold hands. Yeah, thank you. Okay. The next picks for a nicer picture as well. Um, okay, now, Michelle, your turn, round two. Here you go. I, Michelle Wan, thank you, Nick Tan, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. This is my solemn vow. Wonderful. Um, keep on looking at each other. Don't, don't look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm married. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> okay. And at this point in time, we want to exchange rings as well. Michelle, Nick and Michelle will exchange rings. And uh, ring bearer is here. Come. Nick and Michelle, you obviously took time to choose these rings. And these rings are important to you. They are precious to you. Uh, valuable to you as well. Costs quite a lot, I'm sure. And this is like your marriage and your relationship. In God's eyes, the two of you, he has brought together. You are precious. You are cherished by him. You are valuable. And your marriage is also such in his eyes. The rings also have no end. And that's why it's a symbol of, our, of your wedding and your marriage. Meaning that your wedding and your marriage should have no end as well. Till death do you part. And it is your responsibility to seek God's help daily to ensure that love does triumph in your lives. Um, come. What we're going to do now, we're going to just bless the rings. So Father, we ask you to bless the giving of these rings that Nick and Michelle who wear them may live in your peace and continue in your favour all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Nick, I hand you Michelle's ring. Left hand. And here also you have some things to say to her as you are about to put the ring on her finger. Michelle, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. With all that I am and all that I have, I honour you. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, now Michelle, I hand you Nick's ring for you to put on his finger. Uh, you can put the hand down already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nick, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. With all that I am and all that I have, I honour you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> He's in. <laughs> have you been putting on weight? No. <laughs> okay, okay, I hope not. <laughs> Usually that happens after the wedding, not before. But anyway, wonderful... Uh, well, Nick and Michelle, you have both declared your consent and vows before God and all these, your friends and family members. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with the grace to, co to carry out your vows. Will you please turn and face all your friends and family members? Now that Nick, hang on, <laughs> not yet kissing yet. Now that Nick and Michelle 
have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I announce to you that they are husband and wife. And in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put and no one put asunder, let no one separate. Amen. Now you may clap. Mr. and Mrs. Nicktan. And of course, it's not just that you raise your hands, you may now kiss your lovely bride. <laughs> Wonderful. Are you all happy with that kiss? Is that okay? No? No? Sorry, they, they, they're not happy. With that. How, how long do you want? 30 seconds? 30 seconds. Are they your friends? <laughs> just one more kiss, just for everybody. One more kiss. Come on. Hello guys, great to see everyone here uh, on our special day, thank you for coming. Uh, actually this is the most nervous part of the whole ceremony for me because my draft never passed QC a lot of times. So I have to rewrite again and again. Okay, so uh, I think first and foremost I'd like to give thanks and praise to God for bringing us together and to make this wedding <coughs> um, so smooth and perfect weather and everything and all the guests are able to make it to witness our big day. Um, I'd like to thank my own family for helping to plan and run errands and execute the wedding as well. Also to my new family for being so accommodating and entrusting Michelle to my care. So I will promise to keep her fit and healthy and most importantly happy okay because the, there's a skilled martial artist called Iman happy wife happy life so I'll try to keep her happy uh, I also need to thank those who volunteered uh, especially people like Nikki uh, or last minute MC the worship team the brothers and sisters the volunteers um, you have no idea how much the brothers had to give up to be here, <coughs> be here. So they had to give up a lot to help in my wedding, you know. So thank you very much. I uh, also thank Frankie and Vicky for helping, for decoration and all that, for Sheena to be our coordinator, overall coordinator, and all the sisters for making the games easy. <laughs> really find it too easy. Okay, so uh, yeah, like Pastor said, we met six years ago. So on exactly the same day, and one year ago I proposed on the same day. So now I have no excuse to forget our anniversary, okay? Because it's always on the same day. So for Michelle, uh, I'd like to thank her for being so patient. Uh, I've seen her grown and change over the years. Definitely it's not been easy. We've got together, we've broken apart, we've got together, we've broken apart, and now we are together forever. So I'd like to thank her for putting up with my nuances and some weird things, okay? <laughs> okay, and so I think as we go on this journey, I hope we will, with the help of Jesus, um, make a bet better, be a better person and in our marriage glorify Him. Uh, and so as the lyrics of the walk-in song says, she's a little crazy. And I'm a little mad, but give your all to me, and I'll give my all to you. Uh, and for those who I didn't mention, okay, it doesn't mean I forgot about you. It means you didn't help. <laughs> no, just joking, huh? Okay, for so many people, I might miss out some people, so I apologize for that. But thank you all for coming uh, to witness our big day, and God bless. Sorry, I forgot to thank Pastor also for formalizing our marriage. Okay, today is a very special day for both of us. Um, my voice is actually not too good today, so I'll just try to um, preserve my voice. Okay, but I do have a lot of people that I want to thank and um, a lot of people that I want to mention, so I'll try to keep it short. Okay, so there isn't really one special person that I'd like to thank in this room 
because you are all here and that makes all of you very special in our eyes and your hearts. So let me just count my blessings. So I just want to thank my parents, Papa, Mommy. From childhood, my friends always told me that you are very cool. Actually, you are really very cool. Actually, this is what I realized after I grew up. I don't know if I can do anything, you are all very supportive. I never fought. I have a lot of freedom to do what I want to do. And this really helped me to grow into this very happy, bubbly, positive person that I am today. So, well done, parents. <laughs> I'm sure I was a very bratty child and sometimes not very likable, but I'm glad that you have never given up on me or given me up for adoption. <laughs> Thank you for your unconditional love. I love you, mommy and daddy. To my most adorable sis, Mabel. I remember how you happily told me that one day um, when I get married, you want to be my bride of honor. And I told you that that's not going to be an easy job. You are shaking your head, right? <laughs> because you have to deal with me. Even though you didn't know what you were getting yourself into, but I like that you just didn't care because you love me so much, you know? And we can't be more different, you know, in the way we look, the way we speak, the way we think. But yet we are so close, and you're my first best friend. <laughs> and throughout this whole wedding process, you have done things that you didn't really want to do, but you did it anyway just to make me happy. Thank you for always taking my side. You make me feel that you made me zhen hao. Thank you for supporting me in whatever crazy decisions that I want to make. I'm so happy to have you in my life. And would never trade it for anything else in the world. You're one year younger. But you take care of me like I'm your younger sister. You have always been street smart, caring and wise. You taught me how to be generous and kind. God sent you to us knowing that I needed a younger sister to keep me in check. Know that I love you no matter what and will always be there for you and I can't wait to attend your wedding too. <laughs> I don't know how to wipe. So. <laughs> to my future parents-in-law, current <laughs> parents, new parents, newly minted parents, I'm blessed to have you as my new parents, as you have treated me as if I'm also your own flesh and blood. As parents, you have provided nothing but the very best for Nick and Alina, and now me, and Ethan. I just want to give thanks to you for bringing up the man of my dreams. Thank you for always thinking of us and providing us the best there is. 世上只有父母好. Trust that Nick and I will take care of each other and I'll be a good and faithful wife to him. To my awesome possums and my bestest friends in this room from all walks of life. All 13 of you, Arisha, Hui Ying, Sheena, Amanda, Catherine, Pei Qi, Yu Xing, Katrina, Terence, Enya, Clarice, and my favorite twins, Roseanne and Rowena. I don't need fanciful words to tell you how much I appreciate and love you guys. Just standing here today, something that you may or may not think that you will ever see in your life, and being able to name you guys one by one makes me feel so good. 
You guys have shaped my beliefs, my worldview, my perspectives in life. I'm the most fortunate to have each of you walking with me in this journey. You guys have been my cheerleader, my source of inspiration. Thank you for the endless tough love and laughters. You guys have been the most reliable people around. And that is enough for me. Whatever situation I'm in, you guys always get me. To the brothers and their partners, you guys were literally, you guys are literally the older brothers and sister that we never had. Since we are the elders. Thank you for being such fun, loving and sporting people. Life is never dull with you guys around and I'm sure that we will have many rounds of toasting tonight to celebrate that. More beer. <laughs> Thanks for always looking out for us in one way or another and for helping out in this wedding for it would not have been possible without your love and support. Alone, we wouldn't have been able to put up such a fantastically beautiful wedding but together we did it. Special mention also to Vicky, Frankie, Nicole, um, the worship team, Kingston, Clement, and Joshua, our last minute awesome MC Nikki, the AV team, Cocktown, Chris, and the volunteers behind, and of course our dear Pastor Ruben. Despite having such a busy schedule with work and other commitments, you have sacrificed your precious me time and gifted us a beautiful gift of helping us at this wedding with the rehearsal. Thank you for graciously and selflessly taking it up. You must know that this is something that will always be remembered. To Nick, my newly minted husband, in case you think that I've forgotten about you, I'm saving the best for the last. But please don't say that I talk too much because you know who you're marrying. <laughs> there was a point in my life I prayed so hard for a faithful and God-loving man. And today, I finally married him. You know, maybe I'd like to backtrack a little. Initially, when I first met him, I never thought that we'd be together because those who know us um, personally knows that we are actually super different. But yet, our differences are what kept us together. I thought about the first time that I met you and I only caught your side profile, but I already liked what I saw. And, and as we hung out more, I realized that you have a great sunshiny smile. <laughs> the type that lights up a room and they lead up my world. I never thought I would fall so hard for you, but I did. For the past six years, we have grown together spiritually, emotionally, celebrated our differences and likeness many times over. Over the years, I find that we are growing more similar in values, yet still distinctively different in a good way. This is forever, and I'll not give up trying to be the best wife that I think you deserve, because you mean everything to me. The changes and sacrifices were all worth it. <laughs> With God at the center of lives, we have no fear. God is really so good and so faithful all the time. Thank you, baby, for giving me the best of you, for drying my tears and crying together with me when I'm down, giving me a sense of direction and navigating me because I always get lost, reminding me to eat healthily and exercise regularly because it's <laughs> how you show your love for me, making my dreams come true by proposing to me and then by marrying me. We may have our ups and downs, but I will always love you unconditionally. Happy six year anniversary. I love you. To God, to God, our Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us first, even though we are so undeserving. We thank you for grazing, graze, grazing our event with your holy presence. And we know you will continue to be omnipresent throughout our lives. As you have rightly said, dear children, let us love not in words or speech, but in truth and action. From First John chapter 3, verse 18. And to everyone present, your attendance means so much to Nick and I. Thank you for simply being part of our lives. And it's great because of you guys. From the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for coming and bearing witnesses to our union. Uh, we did not cater food as we'll be move, moving off um, to have an intimate luncheon with our relatives and then hosting a cozy after party for a small group of close friends tonight. So see some of you there. 
um, cheers to eternal love and friendship to everyone in this room. But before you leave for church, uh, for lunch, we would like to take a collective group photo. Over to you, Nikki, but after the pastor's benediction. Thank you. Can we just give a round of applause for just sharing so much?